Hi everyone, um, welcome to a vlog. This is Jas's lockdown birthday weekend. Me. We didn't think we'd be celebrating his 40th birthday Whoa. in lockdown. <laughs> We've had to cancel quite a few plans. Well, plans that you didn't even know that I'd made and plans that he'd made for himself. And it just so happens to be a long bank holiday weekend in the UK. So today is Friday. It's like the day, isn't it, yeah. in the UK? And so obviously we've got Saturday and Sunday. So I've planned a lockdown birthday surprise, if yeah. you like. <laughs> this morning... You surprised me with a card. Yeah, I left him a birthday card by his toothbrush because I knew he'd, he'd wake up before me. Just so that he was prepared. And prepared? We had a few printer problems because we don't actually have a printer. I don't know if you're able to see this, but I basically designed like a schedule, a lockdown <laughs> birthday schedule, because there are certain times that he needs to be ready for. What time is it actually? Can I got a clue what she's got planned? So like, for example, right now, it is quarter past uh, two. So he has to be ready by 2 p.m. for his first birthday surprise today. This itself is a surprise, what you're doing right now. Do you know what it is? Even being on camera is a surprise. And the bigger surprise is telling people how old I am. <laughs> Hope you cut that bit out. <laughs> no, okay, look, no, yes, there's, no, there's a reason, okay. So, I think he knows like what some of my surprises are just because like, we live in a flat. There's no escaping one another like during lockdown. Yeah. Where are we supposed to go? And I can't like kick him out of the house for long mm, enough thanks. to like do certain things. I can't be like, it's like he knows I'm baking him a cake. That's like one of your surprises, but you know that. No, I don't. You don't! don't. He's lying. He's lying, he's just, okay? Well, no, no, I told him I'm baking him. Oh, yeah, what for? My face? <laughs> no. <laughs> I told him I was baking him a cake because I can't be like, oh, just go to the supermarket. Well, I probably could have because it really would take you two hours. It's such a long process. Anyway, whatever. He knows that's part of the surprise. But hurry up, we have to do this. So. His first surprise is this. Again, we've had printer problems. Um, my cousin very kindly printed this stuff out for me and we socially distanced when she came and left us on my balcony, but her printer's running out of ink, so hmm. <laughs> hopefully you can read this. I think he has an idea about what's going down on the first surprise, clue. but there you go. Okay, I'm, in, I'm meant to read this right now. I'm, I'm really scared about this first surprise. What, what are you doing I feel this? like he's actually gonna murder okay, me. Okay, let's see. Well, so what, hold on, let me see, okay. I'm not, I'm not reading this out loud to the camera. No, she just needs to read it. Okay, in my head, yeah? What? what? I knew it, that's stupid. No way. <laughs> Look, okay. I have not booked this appointment. <laughs> Do you want to read what, you want to explain what you've done? So, just desperately needs a haircut. Yeah. As you can tell. And this is the reason why he hasn't, like he's just been refusing to be on my Instagram story or on like my TikToks. I've got so many ideas and stuff I want to film with him, but he's like, no, no, not until I've had a haircut. I don't want to be seen in public like this. But I mean, here he is. But I'm more concerned about, is this real? No, it's actually real. So Don't one... Someone come in there to give me a haircut? No, so one of my amazing followers on Instagram told me about this website that has just been created. It's called lockdownhaircut.com and you I'm basically confused. book a virtual appointment with a professional barber. I think it's just for men. Online, it's done through Zoom. It's like 20 minutes long. Oh yeah. And the amount you pay for it, I don't think it says it on there, does it? Yeah, okay, well. so you pay a certain amount for it. It's actually like really affordable, by the way. I'm confused. Half the money goes to the barber for their time, and the other half is a, a donation to the NHS Charities Together, I think it's called, which I think is really cool. So it's such a great idea if you have any men in your life, or if you're a man watching this and you need a haircut. The only thing on it, on there though, it says you need, <laughs> they... <laughs> the whole, no, the biggest problem is, where's the barber? <laughs> You are the, if she's a barber, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> so what's this guy so, virtually going to do? No, so either you can do it yourself and he'll talk you through it. I can't cut my women. you can get someone else to do it for you while he talks you through it. That's weird. And these are all barbers that work in like top salons in London or I, I don't know about London. I don't know how that's Top salons. Work. So I think it's really cool. Well, it's cool in some sense, but this guy is remotely going to, on the other side of the world where he is, he's explained how to you to cut my hair. He's in London. He must have left a bit, she gets the left and right wrong in the first place, so he must say, yeah, go a bit left, and she might go and cut my eyebrow off or something. This is not a comedy video, by the well, way. It's not turned out to be Can comedy. Just, okay, so we've hit problem number one, but this I, is I problem envisage number this. Three. The reason I booked this for Friday is So I can look out the wally over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> no, is, well, they only had certain appointment times available anyway, but 
it's so if it goes horribly wrong. Oh dear, thanks for the You've got a couple of days before you can actually What, a couple of days for it to grow back, you mean? Oh please, your hair grows just like that. It does not, this took about a month and a bit, right? Your hair grows the same rate as my eyebrows. The whole idea, I thought, I'm looking, because I'm not like lockdown, no one's seen me at the moment until the first time these guys are going to see me in like, in ages, right? I'm growing my hair, it's looking messy anyway at the moment. He wants a different cut. I want to have a different cut for once. But can I just, can I just, can I just please tell them something? So, the only thing with this website is, it says that they recommend you don't You're use the barber, yeah. beard trimmers. <laughs> or can you get your beard trimmers? They recommend you don't use beard trimmers or scissors. So what um, do you use to cut my hair? And they say that you should have electric hair clippers. And obviously we don't have those. Oh, I was going to buy shit. him some, but they're literally sold out everywhere. Oh. So I did email the guy, and I think I've been talking to the guy that's going to cut his hair. And I've basically said, look, we don't actually have hair trimmer, uh, hair clippers. But I, I, I kind of told him I have some experience. You have no experience. <laughs> Can't you get well, this is my and he was like, how much experience do you have? And I was like, I did, I, oh, actually, I have done a barbering course. It was about 12 years ago, and he only let me cut his hair twice in that time, because I needed <clears> models. So, I mean, I haven't really got experience, but I have done hairdressing courses in, like, the past. I know how to use well, the hairdressers. Well, this, this could, could, this could go does last you a lot wrong, you know? And also, I've been prepping drafts a little bit in secret, because I've been saying to him, look, do you know what sort of haircut you want? Like next time when the barbers are open and he's like been showing me photos. Yeah, I've shown her a photo. And I don't think she's gonna. So he's not completely unprepared. He knows what he wants. I know, uh, yeah, I've got an idea what a hairstyle I want with the, you know, for the barber to do, a professional barber. Look, no, I am a professional barber. This is the best you're gonna get at this time. Sorry. Anyway, um, um, look, we need to log in. I'm not going to film the man because that's pretty bit weird. Um, this guy, whoever he is. But I might film clips of me cutting your hair. Whoever this person is, does he know you surprised me? So he's not going to. No. Does he know? He, he knows I'm expecting a haircut now or something. No, he just thinks you. Like I said, I've, I've booked the thing as a gift. Anyway, whatever, that's fine. Are you surprised? Yeah, I'm really surprised. I'm surprised, first of all, we've got, we've got this. Whoever this person is. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm actually. Anyway. Check the website out, it's really cool. They donate like five pounds to the NHS, which I think is really cool right. as well. So, okay, let's do this. Yeah, I would normally say. Look at that fade. I am so good at this. I think that went really well. Um, Jas has just gone for a shower, so he hasn't seen his hair properly, but I'm really impressed with my skills. And the guy said I did really well. He was only there for 20 minutes because it's like a 20 minute appointment. So he showed me how to do one side and then I basically had to just do the back and the other side. And I did it. There was a few blips, but I'm treating myself to a Coke Zero now. <laughs> I'm covered in hair too. And I was saying to Jas, I was like, do barbers like need to shower after every client because i'm covered in hair and i'm not liking it oh look at his hair doing it with 360. what do you think what do they think or what i think no, what do you think i think i'm okay with it i've seen the back of it and it's all right for what for what it is it's good yeah i'm you're, so you're doing a really good job but yeah, skills. yeah sides of it i mean it's growing all over the place but i'm glad that you haven't I'm murdered actually, me today yeah i'm happy with it because it's obviously you know happy with it i was trying to grow the top as you can see so we didn't really touch the top too much. It, I mean, it, it was it was a bit questionable. It could have potentially looked like Cress, but um, thanks. Well, yeah. you wanted it spiky, and yeah, you he looked like awful. Yeah. If you guys are mm. Asian and you know who Jazzy B is, <laughs> that is who he looked like. And oh my god, he's a legend, is... Jazzy B, the oh, king of Bangra. Just so look him up. His hair is awful, but no, I think it looks yeah. really good. Like um, to one side, that's what it's called. What, show them the product you used. Yeah, I used this thing called. Oh, well, right. to be honest. So I got sent this. Can you, where's the lid? Isn't it like years old? <laughs> it's really old. Um, I got this in a goodie bag oh, like a gazillion years ago. And I got loads of their hair products for men, but like loads of my friends took all the bits. This was the last one, so... Oh, ah, sorry. Well, just to let just everyone... Just had a use for it. <laughs> just to let everyone know, this is probably the first time in 10 years I've actually put anything on my head, any products, apart from obviously shampoo and all that kind of stuff, but well, yeah. not used any gel or anything like that for years. What is that, wax? I think it's wax, so... But yeah. There we go, ta-da! I'm being blinded by the sun. Don't know if you can see me, but we're out for Jas's next birthday surprise, which isn't planned. It's just something that I discovered yesterday is now open. And there appears to be no queue. 
very exciting. Who where? Oh wow. Shanktastic. Oh my gosh, yeah. Perfect day for it as well. I hope they have soy milk though. This is so exciting that we have to socially distance and I just spotted a vegan menu, so I'm gonna get the lotus yeah, that's, uh, that's all? Yes. Yeah. So I got the Lotus Biscoff um, milkshake. I'm completely blinded by the sun, so I have no idea if you can see this. And look who we've just spotted walking towards Shake Tastic. <laughs> Trust them to be here. These are the two that told me that it was open as well. So funny. I don't think I realised how much I missed milkshakes. Like this is just divine. It tastes probably loads better because it's a really hot day, but because it's just such a treat to be yeah. able to like go out and buy something and not make it yourself yeah, at home. Yeah, it's been over a month. At the moment. Two months of having... I mean, these two have come to stalk us. <laughs> and they copy me. Um, also, Shake Tastic have got a new... Also, Shake Tastic have got a new vegan menu. And this is a Lotus Biscoff that I got with soya milk and soya ice cream. Oh, it's just amazing. So just come back from our walk and I forgot to show you that I was wearing my new uh, Veja or Veja, I don't really know how they're pronounced, trainers today. Jess actually bought me these trainers for Christmas, believe it or not, and I was like, I don't want to wear them in winter while it's raining and like muddy or whatever outside, because I like to keep white trainers as white as possible for as long as possible. So I kept saying to him, I'll leave them in the box for now and I'll open them up and wear them in spring. And obviously spring started with a lockdown and a pandemic. So I haven't had a chance to wear my trainers. I thought I'd put them on for the first time today. I have heard from like so many people that they are a nightmare to break into and we didn't even walk very far or for very long to be honest. We popped into M&S to pick up a few essentials and my feet are destroyed. If you guys have any tips on how to break into these trainers quicker then please let me know in the comments below because oh they really hurt it's awful good morning um happy saturday i have just come out of the shower didn't wash my hair i'm just getting ready last night i was just so tired i made like a really quick dinner a simple stir fry and what did i do yeah we just had like stir fried veg and tofu no rice or noodles and then um afterwards i decided to bake cupcakes because one of jess's birthday surprise things is a cake and obviously i had to tell him about it because we're in lockdown and he's gonna know that i'm baking anyway so i baked the cakes and i wanted the, the, them to cool properly before i iced them today but i burnt the cupcakes it was my first time baking cakes like in years i just don't bake and i kind of burnt them i'm just gonna have to go with it because i've run out of plain flour now we tried one last night tastes okay just went to the post office so while he was out i decorated but i can't blow up balloons so he's blowing up his own balloons <laughs> i did try but i just can't blow balloons up to save my life but first of all i want to ice the cupcakes like do the buttercream figure out what i'm doing with that and then i have a campaign that i'm working on with a brand that came through pretty last minute a few days ago like it's the most exciting thing ever so i need to like do like it's going to take quite a while to put that together but i have to do it today because i have to send it off for approval by tomorrow and yeah by that time it'll be the evening so i'll show you little bits of what i'm doing but then i'll be back later <laughs> just got a surprise birthday present from some of our friends earlier which she's very happy about do you want to show them yep oh and this is what i've decorated it's not like you know i'm working with what i have here people but you know there we go it's a bit of bunting and that banner i had to cut in half because it said happy birthday happy birthday it was far too long but there we go oh we stuck a balloon up Woohoo! Oh, it's a rituals gift set Possibly. i know like so random because he actually loves rituals and yep. Our friends that ordered this for him don't actually know that, but it was just a really lucky guess. Yeah, I needed this as well. He was convinced it was from me, and I was like, I don't have my own Amazon account. And he was like, you could have used mine. I was like, yeah, but you would have seen. <laughs> so I was really curious to see what was in the package, but yeah, he got his um, Surprise. first yeah. thing. Good. Which is very oh. exciting. Very exciting. Anyway, I have to go bake cupcakes now. No, buttercream. Ugh. Let's do this. Well, this guy blows up his own birthday balloons. Yep. <laughs> actually forget how easy it is to make buttercream but um 
<laughs> I can't stop laughing at my efforts. I didn't have a piping bag. I thought I did, I used to have one, but I just um, poured the buttercream into a sandwich bag and cut a hole, but the hole was too big. So it looks like an elephant has used its trunk to pipe these cupcakes. I mean, the buttercream tastes insane, it's so nice, but this is just borderline ridiculous. I, <laughs> I can't even, <laughs> let me show you. Sorry, but like, what is this? Professional bakers look away now. Don't leave me comments telling I've done it all wrong because I know. But honestly, Jesus Christ. Look at that one, my first one. I think I put a bit too much on there. That's Jess's. <laughs> okay, new plan. Well, not really a new plan. My plan was to top some of the cupcakes with these. They were meant to be coffee and walnut cupcakes. Not sure if I said this yesterday, but I realized once I started baking that my walnuts are actually off and they tasted rancid so uh, we've scrapped that idea haven't got any more walnuts but I was going to drop some of these off to my cousin's house who lives down the road and she's allergic to walnuts so I was going to top her ones with these eggs but since I have a whole packet I'm just going to top all of them with these little mini eggs and I mean it might make them look a bit prettier who knows and yes my cook is filthy don't judge me I'm about to clean it but yeah there we go. I mean, is this marginally better? <laughs> what do you guys think? And also, I really hate the blue and pink cupcake cases. It's so like, one's for a boy, one's for a girl. I hate that, it's gross. We have two little visitors who are socially distancing. <laughs> They've brought their own snacks and drinks. It's so cute. <laughs> 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 I said they don't get fed at home. <laughs> And they've snuck away for some food. <laughs> Your little camping chairs are so cute. <laughs> oh my god, look at this insane platter that I've just made. I'm so impressed with myself. I think it looks really good. This is for a campaign that I'm working on with Aperol. And I'm so excited for this. Uh, you guys will have seen the Instagram post by the time this video goes up. So I can tell you, I've been dying to tell somebody other than Jas. So I'm telling you guys eat because now it's public but yeah we are now going to enjoy this because we haven't had lunch and it's probably about what time is it four o'clock so. maybe yeah, even five right. o'clock it's quite late it's in the day late. i had a late breakfast so quarter, quarter past four okay it's not as late as i thought that's good anyway yeah oh this is so exciting okay i need to finish like i've done this i need to make the aperol take some photographs and then we can eat okay i'm all dressed up and so is jess and we're ready to move on to I mean, I lose track of the numbers. This is like, what, stage three of your birthday surprise weekend present oh. thing? I'm also a little bit tipsy. Oh, this light is so unflashing. Maybe turn that light off, Jas. I'm not sure what you're doing, what you got planned, but... Basically, yeah, that's better. Open your eyes. Whoa, what's this, okay. Do I that on top, no, open it. Okay. Okay, so that wow. says number two on it. I've got the Heavy. numbers. A bit mixed Do I up. Now, right now, okay. Yeah. Nice wrapping, by the way. Okay. Thanks. Let's see it. Have a look. Ooh. Can't see the product. Let me see. Oh, I can just rip this bag open. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> the guy livid. She knows I'm a whiskey drinker. She knows I love my whiskeys. And here it is. Yeah. Do you <laughs> like what it? What we tonight? Yeah. Okay. That's present number two. No, three. Oh my God. Three. Four is coming up. So I'm all set up and ready for Jas's fourth birthday surprise. I've got him with an eye mask. I must look like Robin. Robin <laughs> Batman, like a stupid. Do you have any idea what this is? I haven't got a clue what the hell you're doing this time. I told him he has to dress up or just look presentable. Yeah, which I so think yeah. I am. But... Okay. Do you take your face mask off? Okay, what am I supposed to do? Look at the screen? Yeah. Hey! What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> we have a Zoom call with our friends, but Lucy people aren't here yet. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's going on? Me? Well, you're blooming neck. You look different. Were you surprised? Smart dress. Smart dress. Oh yeah, you're so smartly dressed. Oh my, what's good? Yeah, that's mad. Everyone looks really smart. What's the, what's the occasion for looking nice. smart? Yeah, it's your birthday. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Some> nice, <laughs> nice little Where's hairy legs. <laughs> I love this. This is so cool. <laughs> Happy birthday! Be careful, the camera's not very stable. Happy birthday, birthday to Jazz! Happy birthday! birthday. Yeah, it's just gone. Oh my gosh, look! Officially, it's my birthday now, yeah! Happy birthday! Thank you, everyone! Hey! Happy birthday to Jazz! Oh my god, it is like 
half past one in the morning almost we have been on zoom with our friends for like four and a half hours i think it was so nice to catch up i'm very very tipsy pretty drunk really if i'm honest just gone to bed it's officially his birthday it's now sunday and i have a few things to organize he's not quite asleep yet but You'll see, I'll come back and show you a little clip, but I probably won't talk, because um, he'll be asleep. But oh, then I've taken my makeup off and go to bed and I have to wake up relatively early tomorrow for the rest of his birthday surprises. But so far, he was saying that he seems to have had like quite a fun birthday. So that's good, that's the plan. Um, and yeah. Oh my God, this took me forever, but I will give you a proper look tomorrow, just because it is so late and I'm really tired, I wanna go to bed. But I've laid out all of his gifts here and as you can see I use loads of different types of wrapping paper because I ran out of um, this one first then this one <laughs> and then I had to resort to brown paper but yeah I will give you a proper look tomorrow I'm going to bed now so good night morning oh my god or should I say afternoon it's like 10 to 12 I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear today we drank so much last night and my throat hurts it's not corona don't worry <laughs> it's because we were drinking and stayed up late but jazz woke up before me which i knew he would so i laid out all of his presents on the dining table last night and were you surprised when you saw them yeah with this lot here yeah yeah of course i was did you know I'd hidden any of them? I don't know, I have a clue how the hell you, where you hid them and how you hid them. I had to hide like so many things. So, I'll sh I mean, I'll, let me just give you a quick look. We have to go in a minute, so hold on. So look at this, these are all of his presents. Yeah. Do you know why you've got so many? I think I'm counting the numbers, so I'm assuming it's the age of my, up to the age of my number, which I'm not gonna say. You're like, I bet you've already really told everyone how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I've got him 40 presents for his 40th. <laughs> That's bad. That's quite but, How did you manage to do all this? Well, okay, so this, which isn't, was very badly gift wrapped, and that <laughs> um, had. That? That's from um, a website and they gift wrapped it, but it was terrible. I had to like re put the sellotape tape on it and stuff myself. So they did a terrible job, not impressed with that. Oh. And then I started wrapping these, but then I ran out of this wrapping paper. So then I used up this one and I ran out of that. So I had to resort to brown paper for the rest. <laughs> I'm, I'm more shocked that how the hell did you manage to get me 40 presents? And I can't even think of one that I want. You know, as if, if someone asked me what do you want, I wouldn't well, even know. So. It was quite hard actually to get 40 during lockdown. There are three that are missing from here though, because one's an online thing that hasn't arrived yet, and two are. What, is that? I skipped numbers? <laughs> no, and then two things are like experience type things, All right. but you it's can't buy vouchers in advance, and so you just. Like when stuff is yeah, open we're after lockdown. Yeah, stuff. I mean, like yesterday has meant to watch Darren Brown live, and that went down. The no, 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 it wasn't. It's not like that. So I haven't yeah, bought gift okay. vouchers for it. It's just like a thing that we're doing, but we can't do it until you turn up on the day and pay. And obviously, oh, nothing's right. open at the moment. So there's three things missing. So and he's already had five. No, you've already had four presents. And so then you have to start at number five today and work your way through. But like the plan was to open a few now before our next like surprise thing. But we haven't got time because it the next surprise is at 12 o'clock on the dot. Which and is like it is 11 55. No so I better go and I will, I'll film him opening these up later and come back and chat to you. Okay, so we've just, oh my god, it's six o'clock, just gone. We've had a whole day, you can come in, um, of like Zoom and hey, house party meetings. It's been, it's exhausting, isn't it? Yeah, well, you're, you're surprised back to back meetings. So I'm glad I planned the virtual party with friends. You can sit on the chair, Jack. Yeah, it's been all good to be crouching. I pl I'm glad that I planned the... <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Leprechaun. Just Can you kneel, like kneel, kneel down on the chair? Maybe like adjust this thing you got here. No, no. Okay. Let me just talk. 
Um, I'm really glad that I planned the actual virtual party with our friends for last night because it was meant to be for today and that would have been far too much. I'm actually really sick of talking so I'm not going to talk too much. We had one at 12, one at 2, one at 4 and they were all at least an hour and a half. So we had like half an hour between all three Zooms and we had like a really quick lunch between the first and the second one and we had a coffee and a cupcake between the second and third one and mm. it's been about an hour since we've been done. No, about half an hour. And now just to open all of his presents which i'm very yeah i still gotta open about. these i just actually feel exhausted after that you know because when you're like chatting with everyone and like you're catching up with everyone again and all that kind of stuff and then you gotta repeat again with someone were you surprised though because you hate surprises yeah i was really surprised with everything i mean i had the inkling that I might be one of them was going to be with the family but then you had the one well i think when because the first one was with his family yeah so he kind of knew that the, like one of the next two would be with my family just because it's just yeah. a thing, isn't it, really? That was kind of a bit of a giveaway. And I lit like a candle, the same candle on every cupcake for each Zoom, so everyone felt like they were the first person, like first lot of people. <laughs> um, and so yeah, he opened one of his presents, because everyone, everyone on one of the Zooms was like, oh, what's the best present so far? And he was like, <clears throat> like I have, I've only opened like five, and there were Basically, like cake, virtual party, yeah. bottle of whiskey, and like whatever and so first I present with this my hairstyle one. like you give me the haircut that was like well that probably was the best actually well that's what she that's my first present basically my haircut which is you know they know this could... oh they yeah. they didn't see the before picture did they no you didn't luckily kind of lucky did they yeah. before how did they see this before well oh we're on this floor. you might have done yeah but like yeah it's it been terrible. a long three days as you can tell we're exhausted and i've still got some work to do but anyway i'm yeah. really excited to be taking all of these a lot of these presents you might recognize because you know it's very hard buying i might recognize gifts Okay. They might. Oh, well, oh, maybe right. not actually. Like, okay, like this one. Well, this is it? present number five. Because obviously, like, when you're buying a lot of presents for somebody, I can't spend like a hundred pound per gift. Like, who has that? Like, come on. Thanks. So, like, one of his presents, and also it's lockdown. Okay, like it's really hard. Like, what what's open? Supermarkets, Amazon. Like, it's hmm. just all like there's just not much. So, like, one of his presents is um, <laughs> a face mask. mask. But it's a good sheet mask, not just a crappy one. Sheet mask? What, what's the difference between... Mask. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so if my face is glowing after... You, you, after I this. mean, the plan was actually to get... Like, this was like number four or five or whatever on the list because the plan was to give it to you before the Zoom so you could use it. Yeah, so I could use it on a bit of a more like, glowing face. So I could look a bit younger, yeah? Is but, that you what know, the idea was? We were really hungover. We woke up like 40 minutes before the thing and that didn't really happen. So... You can use this tonight. Yep, I'll put it on and maybe not be my age. Right, we're not going to talk through every single present. Let's just do a time lapse of you opening stuff, right? Yeah. Why are you opening them? Oh my gosh. Mm. 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 I'm going to from my cousin. Let's do this. Oh, before we do the time lapse. Yeah. This is it. One of the presents he opened up on screen. I hope you can see us. I got him this um, teapot like gift set. It's from T2. Yep. And it's like tea for one. So it's a teapot with a cup, it's sellotaped together. I'm gonna have to come around. Yeah, you can show the teas that like, came with it. Or not. So it's like this. Jas is obsessed with tea. He yeah, has so. about 25 cups a day. Um, this know. was a gift set. This was actually, do you know what? <laughs> this was actually one of their Christmas gift sets, I think. All right. It was on sale because I really wanted to get him this pot. And I don't know if they all come with like a few loose teas and things. But all the pots are quite flowery and girly or pink. And they, I actually really liked this design. It's not actually Christmassy. I was quite lucky with this one. I think I actually bought the last one on the website as well. Do you know oh, that? Really? Because I got really lucky with this. Because I actually like it. I mean, I wouldn't want something flowery for myself anyway. But yeah, I thought this I like was this one. nice and it's blue. It doesn't look girly. Yeah. I mean, all of them actually do look quite girly. But this one doesn't. So. Uh, yeah, I do like it. I'm going to make use of it. So thank you very much. Okay. Now let's do a time lapse. <laughs> What's that? Beard, beard bib. For that, for that, put it on there. And you put the stick it onto the mirror. I was looking for one of these. Yeah. yeah I don't I was know. Looking, how do you know I was looking for that?
shit shave shower. What the is this? Toiletry bag? Where get this from? So your pants were really good at first. And now it's like a peak, isn't it? Like then they go down. I hope the hope the actual. I can skip me. That's supposed to get better. Oh, kind good. of. Like in like waves. Nish, what are you trying to do? Can do, but you gotta be careful because if they experience things, they're not gonna happen anytime soon, right? That's why I haven't paid for them. Just good. The good. Under. But okay. So the first one is we're going axe throwing in London. Axe throwing. It's so cool. Like we did axe she, throwing. Is she trying to get rid of me now? We did axe throwing at one of his work party things. Yeah, and if you see her throwing skills. I was so. I was no, better I mean, than you. I was. So so good. Isn't that what you tried to do the other day? Yesterday, the day before, you tried to throw your throat like so. I was meant to catch food in my mouth, and she like throws it way above my head like. Yeah, but I'm good at throwing axes, not yeah. pretzels. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and the, <laughs> and the second thing that we're doing is we're going to a virtual shooting range, so you get to shoot things, but it's also in a whiskey bar. Really? That sounds different. Yeah. Interesting. Virtual though. Maybe and I could have bought the gift voucher, but... Oh, I went to virtual. Like, you spot wearing goggles and you're in a virtual area and you're kind of like shooting things. Yeah. All right. It's in a whiskey bar, like whiskey. But is it virtual whiskey or real whiskey? No, the whiskey's real. The shooting of things okay. is not. Well, okay. We'll have to check. That does sound different. Never seen that before. So those were the, like, the two things I haven't obviously got. I wouldn't say... The, the, the online thing is actually arriving later today. Apparently, or tomorrow morning. Or Sunday. Yeah, I'm mean, glad that you're not um, booked the, the, the events yet, the axe throwing. Because... Number 40. Well, I mean, I think the shooting and this, I think, are the two best presents. So the last second, last one and second last one. Hmm. I think it's going to be the best present. I think that you will... I don't know, just, I don't know, just, what do you think? Let's see, okay. It's a... Uh... Oops. <clears throat> Came... I don't even know when this arrived, because I wouldn't recognise the envelope, wouldn't I? You but... actually put the post that day. You left it on the sofa. And you came oh. out with the balcony and I saw it so I quickly grabbed it and hid it. Hey, what's this? You didn't read that. Buy a gift. So this will buy a gift, okay? So we'll be buy a gift. gift. Um, hold on, let me open it up. Alpaca walk with sparkling afternoon tea. Alpaca? Is that one of these little... Um... Yeah, you get to walk an alpaca! Wow. How cute are they? Oh, they look cute. Alpaca looks like one of those... Um... I think people know what an alpaca is. Okay, but just in case I don't know what it looks like, it looks like a llama. Llama. Llamas. Llamas, yeah. Well, that looks cute. It's a white one. Okay. You walk, them, you walk with them. 
You take them for a walk. Do it's the cutest. I've never seen that before. That's somebody different. Somebody on Instagram, like, well, actually, somebody I'm like Instagram friends with posted oh. it on her Instagram feed. And I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. Where, where can you do this? And she lives in Newcastle, so it's somewhere near her. But then somebody randomly commented on my post where I'm kissing a giraffe or something from Kenya. And they were like, oh, if you like animals, you should check out this alpaca walk at Charmwood Forest, which is, well, she said it was in Birmingham, but actually it's Charmwood Forest, which is kind of Leicester Stroke Derby. Hmm. The only, the only thing I'm uh, concerned about is that it obviously expires next year, March 2021, but they need to be they a bit lenient. It. They have to be lenient because I know even if I try to book in the next two, three months, it's not going to happen, is it? So yeah. we shouldn't be losing, not our fault, is it, right? So, so that was very kindly gifted by buyagift.com because I told them it was your birthday. All right. Um, I was That's actually going to buy that voucher anyway, and they actually, so you <clears> get two different options. You can just take the alpaca for a walk, or you can buy the voucher for the walk and an afternoon tea and they upgraded us to the afternoon tea as well. Oh really? That's yeah. really nice of you. So thank you very much, buy a gift. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to it, but when, whenever that... I think that's the cutest thing ever. That looks like, cute, that is really cute. But the, um, the trouble is, I mean, I don't know when we can do it now, when we can book yeah, it. Yeah, but they'll extend it, obviously, if yeah. lockdown can Because it'll be social distancing from them as well, not just humans. <laughs> yeah, because you can give them corona. Yeah. What was your favourite gift? <clears throat> No, this one's definitely not. Uh, I mean, I like that. I mean, obviously. And the shooting thing, I think. The shooting thing would be, I like uh, that, that. I love that. I know I definitely love this one. I love the shooting one. I do like the teas, both uh, the teapot and the actual teas itself. Anything to do with herbal teas, I love. Um, the shoes I like. I need to try them on, obviously. And I do like, I mean, I've got so many gifts now. I can't remember which one you got, but. All this stuff I do, I, know I like anyway, so I'll make use of all this. The foot stuff, <coughs> the facial stuff, I think, and then the beard thing will be handy because I've been, been looking, for, looking for something like the beard. You know, what I mean is like, when, I, when you're trimming and that kind of stuff, the hair goes all over the place, so this would be handy. So my favourite presents, if I say, I mean, I like all of them to be honest. I mean, so I did get him some like workout stuff because he was doing boot camp at the end, of, towards the end of last year, and he really enjoyed it. But I knew that he might just be a bit like, I don't know know if I'll wear this but he can exchange that I got him loads of different types of tea like some of my nice like face masks hand creams foot masks like little like beauty bits because I don't actually let him touch my nice beauty stuff do I no I have I have like drawers of all my beauty stash and I have like the good stuff that's just for me and the stuff that I've tried doesn't work for me I'm like if you want it just take it do what you want with it and then I just have like, the rest of my stuff so he's not allowed to touch my nice stuff but now he has some of it like this <clears throat> Laneige lip sleeping mask which is the best oh which is the best lip balm in the world but you can't <coughs> buy it in the UK as far as I know but then I also picked up a couple of little bits from the supermarket because we are in lockdown. Like, there's like, where can I buy stuff? Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I got him Jaffa cakes, which are his fave, and I also got him. Aero is my favourite chocolate. He loves Aero chocolates, but um, these are like new, like Aero new on the bottom. salted caramel. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, this is like problem. I didn't realise that because um, obviously I bought them a few weeks ago when I went to the supermarket. Didn't realise that they expire in April. Yeah, she didn't realise that my month is actually the month afterwards, like May. Yeah, but you don't think it happens, <laughs> do you? That's funny. Maybe yeah. that's funny. I thought that counts, doesn't it? I also got him a bracelet because. Oh, yeah, I got this bracelet. Oops. He's not keen on it. Not... That was from Etsy. I, mean, I like, thought it was really cool. It's got a compass on it. I don't know if you'll come a bit closer. I thought that was really cool. Like, it's got a compass on this, and it looks cool, but it also makes you look like Jack Sparrow from the very Car Paris of the Caribbean because it's like. And one thing you didn't see, because we opened it up on my family um, house party call, was this. Oh please, that, that is a bit cringy a little bit of, of me. It looks wicked of you, she's done a really good job that. of it, but... My little cousin, who's super talented, yeah, like, posted stuff that she's drawn in the past <laughs> on Instagram. People always ask if she'll do stuff like for them for a fee, and she will, but she doesn't really have time at the moment, she's doing her GCSEs. No, her A-levels? Her GCSEs, I think. I sent her a photo of me and Jas. This was from... Your birthday, actually, a couple of years ago, and it's the Shard. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, she drew this. How amazing is that? Yeah, she's done a good job of it. So she's done a good job, but Jess thinks that she's made him look a lot older than me. <laughs> slash a gangster, which is quite funny. She'll watch this and just be like, thanks. Yeah, but she's done a really good job. Um, yeah. Another thing I got him, which I thought was really cool. Oh, I like that, yeah. Advent calendar. A bit random, but uh, I have this thing, right? I absolutely despise paying for delivery when I shop online. Like, I just hate it. I pay for, like... 
ASOS premier delivery and whatever, but I just refuse to pay for delivery. Like, no. Especially from a big company. Not if it's like Etsy, because that's understandable. But like, I'm just like, no, you can afford it, you know? So <laughs> I really wanted to buy him that teacup set that I showed you earlier on T2. And I found that, but I had to spend a little bit more for free delivery. Then I found this in their sale bit. I know it's like last year's advent calendar, uh, which is a bit random, but I did think it was really cool because you get 24 different types of loose tea to That's try. Cool. Like the back of it, and Jas is obsessed with tea, so he will literally go through this in like less than 12 days. Oh, there's a <laughs> cardboard's coming out. So like, it's quite a nice way to actually try like their range. Yeah. I know it's not Christmas. And then obviously you can buy like whichever because he's already tried a few that he got for Christmas. Like, funnily enough, and he knows which ones that he'd repurchase. So uh, this was quite cool. Definitely check that yeah, out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. To try any of them. I also got him some like swimwear because I was like, we need we need a holiday after this. Hmm. So yeah, and <laughs> just a few like clothes. He he really likes his t-shirt. I thought that was really nice. I'll do that like t-shirt. It's from Vihu. Well, it's actually from ASOS, but I mean, I know it's just a black stripy t-shirt, but it also has stripes in the pocket going downwards. So that's quite cool. Yeah, I like those kind of t-shirts. And just a few other bits. Like a couple yeah, of more shoes. Tees. Like loads of tees. I got these on Amazon. He loves vanilla. It was came, it was came in a set of three. But, yeah. Um, they're like vanilla, like jasmine flowers, but they're like vanilla. So yeah, that's quite cool. And they've got this foot, okay. foot thing, yeah, face thing. Oh yeah, and that. Yeah, um, I'm really happy, yeah. So thank you very much. But like I said, the three best gifts are obviously the last ones. The alpaca walk, which I think is so cool. The shooting um, virtual, like not real stuff. I know someone that's actually done that, so that's, um, good to know that it was really good and it's actually in a whiskey bar the person I know my cousin who actually has been there she had dinner there but their menu doesn't really look that good because it's like they only have like one vegan burger and it's not that great they have stuff like venison and like sorry yeah. but you're not eating Rudolph it's <laughs> <just> not happening <laughs> it's a shooting place you know but you can just go there for a drink and it's like a whiskey bar so that was really cool and axe throwing so yeah anyway mm. I've talked far too much today I'm losing my voice I need some more water again but yeah this is basically <clears throat> yeah wow you choose you've done a really good amazing job at hiding it from me and I don't know how you did that and you wrapped them up and thank you very much I'm glad you like them yeah thank you towel Oh yeah. Show me a towel. So okay, so I got these swimming shorts as a joke. Mm. No, no, no. I I got these swimming shorts, which I obviously like, and then I got him sliders, which they look nothing like they did on the website. And as soon as they <laughs> arrived, I knew that he wouldn't like them because I don't like them. But then at this point, it's now too late because you know his birthday's coming up, so I had to wrap them up. But we will exchange these or I hope so. return them maybe. But then keeping with the holiday theme, <laughs> do you actually like this? Oh, yeah, actually, I do like this. I mean, in a funny way, but he opened it and saw a woman in a bikini and was like, "You got me a bikini," and I was like, "No, it's actually a pineapple beach blanket." I thought this was hilarious because I have a watermelon one, mm. but now thinking about it, we will be those two plebs on the beach that don't have <laughs> a regular towel and like I yeah. have a watermelon, like it's a giant. They're gonna call us a bunch of fruitcakes, and he has a pineapple one. Yeah, but yeah, it's a pineapple. I thought that was. I just think it's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'll, I'll try it out. I also got him a gua sha, which um, Google it if you know what that is, but they're quite cool. I think that'd be right up his street. Thanks. And a toiletry bag which says shit shave shower. <laughs> um, my battery's about to die, so I think we're going to wrap this video up so I can see it flashing. Have you had a good birthday? Oh, I loved it. Thank you very much. You've surprised me all day today uh, with everything, and all yeah, day. it's been an amazing day. I mean. Uh, you know, when you're in isolation, uh, I thought it'd be, you know, I didn't really care really, but it's obviously, as in, I thought nothing would happen, but yeah, you made it. I think you did more than you would have Yeah, I think I did more. I, played, I think I spoke to more people than I normally would have, because it's yeah. became kind of like, even though we spoke to them segments, like different people at different times, it's almost of like collective. We've had people community. from abroad yeah. as well, and people yeah. that, like, our friends that don't live in London that we barely see that have like joined in on the, all these zoom calls and stuff and like you wouldn't ordinarily see them on your birthday yeah. mm. it's been quite nice and i don't think you'd see your family on your birthday because you just don't when you're an adult do you yeah or my family so like you've definitely seen way more way more people than you would have no but yeah really so good. Had a good birthday no i had a really lovely birthday i've actually enjoyed it and i you know it's really good thank you very much mm. you've done really well good um, i'm glad you yeah. liked it thank you very much and now I'm you're glad jeff cake yeah jeff cake <laughs> i knew it's for her 
You want an arrow instead? Actually, I want an arrow. An arrow? No, you might. I need sugar. Let's eat these sweets because they're already out of date. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you very soon with a new one. Bye. Bye.